So with a whole load of optimization stuff to Tower Defense Simulator, some people have complained that the game is laggier or that it's slower. I don't see that to be the case. I think it's gotten faster for me. Some people, they, they might not have an optimized system. Now, there could be two reasons why you're lagging out on a thing. It could be because of your internet or because of your uh, system. If it's your system, well, mm, if it's your internet, mm, well, uh, both, both are not great options, but there are ways to alleviate things. So what you can do on the, on the hardware side of things is so firstly what you can do is instead of playing public servers what you can do is instead just play private servers <coughs> now this all depends on your internet but i do believe that private servers are faster because there are less people in them and you're more optimized to play a server where you are in the region that you're meant to be in so for example i'm meant to be connected to like uk servers however at some times i don't get connected to uk servers i'm into american servers because like one of my friends are in is in an american server because of course they're all americans but and connecting to a private server is one of the best ways that you can ensure that you are connected to the fast server available to you now if you're playing with other people from like matchmaking then obviously that's an issue but in terms of lobby yeah the best way is to just join private servers where you're the only person there. Uh, other things you can do uh, is dialogue doesn't work anymore, so you can't do that. But you can like remove your name tags. You can hide tower rings because they're s I think they they're slightly more performance inducing. High quality explosions you can also disable that. Some people have said, well, there's no difference. I think there is a s slight difference. High quality explosions it renders more uh, visual. So if you disable high quality explosions, it should run better. Then high quality effects you should probably disable that as well. I've not seen. A difference but there sh probably should be uh tower options that those are like the cool tips and everything that's more of a visual thing i don't think there's too much what you can do is also is dis disable tower pets and equip tower pets so show tower pets that's for other people but equip tower pets that's your own i don't know i keep them on because my, like, my system's fine and everything else i also keep on because most things are okay apart from name tags name tags i keep off because I, I don't necessarily want to show my name tag flare is so unique it's like for me if i disable name tag i probably disable flare but i don't know bullet trails now that's been fixed you can go ahead and disable that if you want to uh low quality pass is adjust the quality of enemy paths i don't know if that's more system uh, i'm always on as for music none of the music actually affects performance so that's more of a per personal preference uh while recording i have normally have everything low but you know uh I'm trying to roblox is meant to be on like the lowest setting possible for volume but it's still quite loud so i think that's more of the game side of things oh and in terms of graphics tower defense simulator really does not need like a high graphic setting you really ought to only need like graphic setting one graphic setting one is like absolutely acceptable for tower defense simulator if you really really need slightly better quality then three is like a good option but really if you if high, going higher than about seven is really not required and 10 is completely unnecessary uh but i keep it on seven or even six depends on my mood yeah i go seven just just for more realistic shadows <coughs> which you do not need at all on your system uh in terms of your system settings to play tower event simulator this game's not that too heavily inducing but what you can do is turn off power saving mode uh i did accidentally recommend people turn on power saving mode last time i did one of these but turning off power saving mode means that you can get the full performance out of your device's cpu gpu whatever uh obviously that's going to come at a penalty of more power usage so if you're on a phone in the middle of i don't know Patsy park and you're on like two percent and you're trying to play tower defense simulator maybe turning off low power mode is not a great idea most of the times it will perform better on your phone if you turn it off there are some things in the game which are not heavily optimized like for example entering elevators still a massive pain in private server so you can't really do much anything about that and internet you can't really do too much about your internet if you have poor wi-fi like for iphones like you can al you can always try turning 5g on all the time but for example with my iphone 15 pro max it was there was like a band issue with something to do inside the phone so you can't really do anything about that you just have to pray yeah you're close to a wi-fi source or just connect your laptop or whatever to uh ethernet or get better internet that's the that's the problem with some of these things is you don't necessarily have, can do you can't necessarily do anything to improve lag in the game so connecting to games for example like connections to games that's going to entirely base on your internet speed and if your internet speed is terrible then what can you do like during performance in the game then yes it, having a better system will help but if your internet is 
the choke point, then it's not going to help too much, is it? Oh, well, also another system thing is you can always change your FPS to slightly different. Uh, for me, it's 60 is fine. 120 is better for my eyes. My monitor can go up to 165 and some people like 144. But in terms of recording YouTube videos, it's 60, but 240. 240 for my smoothness my smooth eyes uh in terms of having other things in terms of an iphone i don't think you need to close all your applications or whatever that's fine the iphone is perfectly optimized for that but in terms of like on windows or mac or even an android what you should probably do is close off everything in the background like for example do you even need the roblox website while you are probably if you need to go back but for example i have obs on if you can't handle obs then i don't think there's a point of having it make sure you're like your presets are like the, the lowest possible but otherwise you're not really going to get too much out of performance if OBS, it's only OBS and Roblox. You can't really improve that if it's your system's lagging. <laughs> you need to buy a better, unfortunately, you need to buy a better better system. Uh, in terms of drives and everything, yeah, you probably should upgrade them, but I, I haven't really improved performance that way uh, on my MacBook Pro running bootcamp. In terms of during the game, the best thing you can do is like not try to have like too many elements up at the same time like not quickly swapping between powers and everything so that everything needs to load the game's more optimized for that so that you, you'll realize that sometimes there's like a loading bar but just taking time for the towers to actually load is probably the best thing you can do instead of trying to spam everything to open it another thing is like for example on the emote wheel don't immediately scroll through everything having forcing to everything to update quickly but like even now you can see it's lagging for me and like it, the system isn't the issue here nor is it the internet no it's the game itself and if you really want to use an emote make sure everything's on like the first page or the second page rather than having to scroll all the way to say seven and having everything to load basically because going from like second to first the first page is the page where everything is already set up so if you scroll to second and then back to first you can see it lags a lot i assume first is the memory and then second is the game's everything everything's somewhere i don't know i don't know how to explain it oh also something you can do that i noticed does work well is resize the window if you can on windows i assume most people play on pc if you resize the windows, I think there's less graphical elements that need to load. And I think that you, you need it will show less detail. So I think it's the performance gets better that way. That's what I used to do back in the day. I used to it could it could do HD, but I used to record in 720 because OBS plus Roblox uh, lagged out the game quite hard. Yeah, resizing the windows is back in the day when I used to have a pretty bad system is what used to work well for me. Oh, also, disabling camera shake probably is also better for lag. If not, it's it's still a good thing, a uh, good option to disable it anyway, because, you know, why would you have it in the first place? In terms of personal preference of what I prefer to have, it depends. Normally, auto skip is off for me, because if I do want to skip, it's just one more click up there. And also, during gameplay, I might accidentally skip away, but that was not meant to if I wasn't paying attention. So normally, I just keep that off. That's a VIP setting, I believe. Uh, in terms of dialogue, it doesn't really matter anymore what it is because the system for that is broken. High tower rings is off for me uh, because when I record like tower skin showcases, that's normally off, but sometimes it's on. Well, it's in solo mode, it's normally enabled high tower rings, but when I'm playing with like, other people, normally I want to disable that so that I can see my towers. Show name tags, I don't necessarily keep that on or off at the same time it depends again solo mode it's normally off if i'm playing with other people that's normally on so i can just see their names flare is just usually kept on all the time because i don't really care about hiding myself because i always go into private servers anyway power pets is both these are on for me because i like to see what people have equipped but like right now they're broken uh hq explosions is just on so is hq effect because my system can handle it if i'm on a phone then these might go off tower options is also on for me because i'd like to see the key binds in the upgrades section just so i don't need to click other things virtual upgrades i don't is normally off for me because i don't like it over here like i prefer it down here camera shakes always off like i don't know why you'd have it on and then bullet trails it on for me just so i can see tower shooting character scale even though i can scale down to mini normally it's large for me i don't necessarily need to use it all the time uh ui scale is small for me because when i'm playing on say a macbook pro my macbook pro which is really rare actually the the, the ui is actually really large so going to small helps uh i don't think I should play uh, normally it should be like default default's fine small whatever because sometimes the like you can see here sometimes the text overlaps with the UI element so I think default is okay for most people even here though in terms of health bug color apparently there's a green and red option because people are green color blind I'm not so it's 
green for me. Uh, in terms of low quality paths, some people, it's most, it's default to auto, but I have it. I don't really care about it, so it was on for me, but like, do I really care? In terms of all the sound and everything, if it's on, it's normally low for me, but it just depends on my mood. So if the towers is low, sometimes it's not, but generally I think low is fine. Towers. Music is, that's the background, and low is, if it's on for me while recording, because I'm not going to put background music on it, it's going to be muted. It's going to be low, sorry. But if, it, if I'm going to put background music on it, it's going to be muted. And as you can see, it's sli it's slightly lagged because the game couldn't handle that, that many UI element towering. If you need to, downgrade to a lower graphic settings. Ambience is also muted for me because I don't really like ambience on the background because if it's just my voice, I'd like to be able to hear the sound peaks for my voice on the recordings. DJ's on because DJ. Stickers muted and cutscene is muted. Uh, cutscenes should be probably low just so I can hear the voice actually being spoken, but it's actually quite loud. Keybinds are the interesting things for me. So my cell tower is Z. I forgot what the default is. I think uh, it's E, but while in free cam mode, you use E and Q to go up and down. So for me, that's not that's not productive because if you go, if it's, if I'm going to pan my camera up and down and I press E, it's going to accidentally upgrade a tower if I'm selecting it. So that's why it's Z. So it's closest, but it's, it's not on a key that I'm using for uh, free cam mode. Free cam mode is only available to <coughs> people with content creator or higher in the TDS group. So for most people, that's not going to be an issue. My, meanwhile, my cell tower is all the way over as a square bracket over on the right side of my keyboard. So I don't accidentally sell a tower because I'm one to do that. Rotate towers are because it makes sense. Cancel playment. I'm not going to, don't usually pan my like when placing down a tower, for example, I don't usually, in free cam mode, I don't usually hand down the camera. Also, placing, holding Q while in free cam mode doesn't actually cancel the placement of the tower. Twitch hot, hot bars T, I don't really use consumables that much. But it's also the same as the bottom path for light upgrade. So that might have to change once it's supported. But right now, it's not supported. It doesn't really concern me. Emote wheel is G because that's the original key for it. And stick wheel is H because it's right next to it. Sprint is left shift because that's conveniently what it is for most games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's fine. For abilities, F my FPS is X. I'll explain that later once I go into FPS mode. Call to arms is C because that's the next, that's the key closest to X and then it's just the next line along. And then because I normally I use call, call of arms, but then all the others are just, they're just automatic, whatever the ability is for that tower. I do wonder what happens if you get seven abilities available to you because it should be possible. Maybe the developers haven't thought too much about that. So the reason why my FPS is always on X is because because when I go into FPS mode, the way to cancel it or to go out of FPS mode is to press X and you can't change that. And in my mind, you need to, having the same mode to e e enter and exit is key to my lack of comprehension. So that's why it's always like that. That's why I've changed uh, FPS mode to be at X, but then I can't use X for sale, but that's good because I always fuck that up. So it's square bracket. Ow, oh, okay, 10,000.